From your hyperlocal weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Kyle. And this forecast is brought to you by Rich Asset Management. We choose to be independent, so our clients know our advice is in their best interest and directly tied to their goals. Visit us at richassetmanagement.com. Hi everybody, meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. I hope you got to enjoy your Thursday. Uh, Unfortunately, tomorrow, not the most beautiful day in the world. Uh, We're going to be seeing stubborn cloud coverage and multiple rounds of rain on the way. In fact, if you're out late tonight or early tomorrow morning, you're going to run into a little bit of that moisture, particularly down across uh, our most southern portions of New Jersey. So here's a look at your Friday forecast. Temperatures staying in the mid to maybe upper 60s, cloudy, rainy, definitely feeling uh, that moisture in the air throughout the entire day. So the rain starts to move in kind of early tomorrow morning, like I said, starts in the most southern portions of South Jersey and then slowly works its way further to the north. We are going to see some small lulls in the activity. There's going to be some small windows of time right in the middle part of the day where the rain kind of pushes a little bit further to the west and subsides just kind of briefly. But Following that is going to be more rounds of widespread heavy rain. So uh, if you're out late Friday or during the overnight hours, kind of early Saturday, you're going to be running into those pockets of like the really downpour kind of not so desirable weather. Now, earlier today, we did have a little bit of a breeze kind of kicking up. That's going to be the trend for most of the day Friday, but you can see that really overnight Friday into Saturday, things sort of settle down just briefly and then quickly ramp back up once again Saturday afternoon and Sunday. So not only are we going to be seeing uh, some pretty significant rain on the way for tomorrow, we're also tracking some pretty impactful wind for the next couple of days all the way through to about Sunday. We are going to be seeing some improving weather as far as the clouds and the rain is concerned, though. By Sunday, we'll be seeing the return of some sunshine, just a few kind of scattered clouds. It will be a lot cooler, though. This is going to be on the back end of a cold front, so we're going to be seeing some much cooler air move in Saturday night into Sunday. That'll drop those temperatures down into the 50s. You factor in the wind gust upwards of 30 to 35 miles an hour, and you're going to be feeling even cooler for your Sunday. Uh, But in addition to that, we're going to see the possibility for some frost for uh, one of the few times or one of the first times this year uh, overnight, particularly Sunday into Monday. If the highs are really only in the 50s and we don't really see too many clouds overhead, that's going to allow for a lot of cooling. Uh, So uh, if you're in one of those spots that's pretty prone to the frost, kind of out towards the barrens, you're going to see your first real good opportunity for that. Sunday night into Monday. Other than that, though, great quiet start to the week next week. Lots of sunshine on the way. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. I'll be checking in with you tomorrow.